uh, today we're here at the vet's office. Uh, Cassie isn't feeling the greatest in the world today. There's this for you. And then we'll be right in. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. So, we had to uh, find a vet on the road here. We're up here in uh, yeah. Uniontown at FedEx Custom Critical uh, getting a T valve. Uh, certification done so uh, she hasn't been feeling good for a few days I wasn't sure if it was just the food but she kind of stopped eating so uh, we're here getting her checked out uh, we'll let you know what the doctor says so yeah. Ooh, I feel so bad they just took Cassie to get her weight She's a whole whopping 3.9 pounds. Oh, I'm a big one. <laughs> yeah. They usually throw fish smaller than that back. We'll try and collect one here because we'll want to check her for parasites. That's the first thing we'll check for. And then depending on what we find there, we may want to do some x-rays just to make sure there's not an obstruction or something else causing the vomiting. So has she been eating? She had some chicken last night, just plain chicken, and I drank some water, but now she hasn't had anything today. I don't okay. Know, I couldn't even get her to drink water today. And she's not spayed? No, no. not yet. Has We're she had a heat cycle yet? No. Plan on getting her done when we go back in next. Okay. All right, sweet girl. May we borrow her and try and collect her poop sample? Mm -hmm. All right. She's not going to appreciate it. I'm just going to use a little fecal loop and try yeah. to get so. We'll bring her right back All in. All right, thank you. Cassie's back. Just waiting for the results to come back. I think she feels a little violated. <laughs> a little? Yeah. But we're just waiting and seeing here. The combination of two different antibiotics that'll be in the liquid form. Um, so she'll get that together and send it home with you today. And then um, feed her a bland diet. So chicken and rice, or we've got a canned food available if you prefer to just take something with you. If it's easier, obviously, you're traveling. So it would be, yeah. it'd be easy to cook. Um, so we can send you home with that as well. But if she's not improving in the next 24 hours, then we would need to, especially with the vomiting, we would need to get her some blood work and x-rays to make sure there's nothing else going on. Okay. Um, I'm also going to give her a shot just to help with the, the nausea that she's got going on, and hopefully that will help enable her to keep down the meds that we're sending home. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Chelsea, you'll be right with you. Somebody's going to get shot today. What they say wrong with her? Okay. It was a uh, build up in her stomach. Yeah, too much. Uh, too much uh, something or other in her stomach. It's off. Her yeah. Her enzyme. Her gut and her yeah. bowels are yeah. off. So, gonna get a shot, a couple of uh, uh, antibiotics, and some different food for a few days. Put you on some different food. Bland. That means no taste, sissy. No taste. You just have to sit and watch us eat tonight. <laughs> Billy Oliver, just don't say that. That sounds mean. No, you know I feel bad for her. She looks horrible. Her eyes look weak. Watery. Ain't it, baby girl? Huh? Um, the injection is $19, and then the medication will take home and put you at one twenty three seventeen. Is that okay for you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get it all together and I'll be right back. Um, and then this is her medication. It's just going to be 0.4 mLs every 12 hours for 7 days. And then just keep it in the refrigerator. And then this sticker is just, that's another antibiotic mixed in with this liquid. So okay. it's fine. All right, you guys are all set. Well, we took her to the doctor. We came back and gave her medicine and the shot kicked in. She's acting like it's feeling a whole lot better. So that's a plus. Huh, Cassie? You feel 
feeling better? Are you feeling better?